Panuka Enterprise Limited, trading as Panuka Farm, started its farming business in 2017 in Chiwombo district of Central Province in Zambia. The company's founder and managing director, Bruno Mwemba, a chartered accountant and development finance expert, now narrates how the farm started. Coming up of uh, Panuka Farm was basically inspired by um, me having worked uh, in one of the uh, agricultural research uh, institutes uh, called Yapri. Um, and when I worked there, um, I think I, I got to understand some of the nuances of the horticultural you know, uh, farming you know, sector. And one of the critical and chronic you know, issues that kept coming um, is, is, especially on the chain store side, um, I think there was information and um, you know, verifiable data, the fact that uh, uh, most of the chain stores were indicating that uh, most of the local farmers were actually failing to, um, you know, play in, in that, you know, horticultural, you know, uh, value chain. This was after research had indicated that most local farmers in the horticulture value chain in Zambia were having challenges in being consistent with production of quality products in the right offtake quantities. Um, and I think when I looked at my capacities and um, intellect, as it were, uh, I felt that I think that's that's one problem that I probably could contribute in in resolving, and basically that's how um, this uh, Panuka concept was actually um, uh, birthed. Uh, but obviously, I think when we started, our focus was much more in uh, open field, um, you know, farming, um, and we did that, um, you know, uh, for about two to three years, um, farming quite a number of different you know crops um, uh, in open you know fields, um, and I think we came face to face with some of the challenges of open field farming, uh, especially how the impact uh, on the quality of produce um, and obviously your ability to be consistent in the supplies uh, just in case you've got um, you know, a crop failure. So those are some of the issues that really um, we faced. In his first three years of open field production, Mr. Mwemba faced a number of climate related production challenges that prompted him to rethink his farming model in the quest for production consistency and guaranteed production quality. So in the first uh, three years, um, from 2017, 2018 and 2019, uh, we were producing crops um, in open field. Um, and that is where um, we faced the brunt of uh, you know, climate change and its impact uh, on uh, crop production, uh, which then obviously translated into uh, issues uh, in relation to our production uh, consistency. Um, so. I think it was quite obvious based on our research that we needed to get into protected you know, uh, cropping environments, uh, especially greenhouse um, farming and obviously a mix of uh, shed nets um, in production of the crops that we thought uh, would actually be core um, you know, for, for, for the future of this enterprise. And, and therein came an opportunity um, where there was a, a World Bank you know, facility through uh, the Zambia Agribusiness and Trade Project, ZATIP, and um, we applied, uh, developed an investment plan that we co-financed um, with the World Bank um, through the ZATP. Um, so that's basically how we came on board um, and uh, we financed that 30% and then they brought in um, 70%. The matching grant that was awarded by the World Bank through the Zambia Agribusiness and Trade Project ZATP attracted a field visit by senior World Bank officials at Panuka Farm as part of monitoring the progress and impact of the bank's funding to the farm. We've enjoyed our visit here. Here visiting with the managing director for, for the World Bank has been a real pleasure for three simple reasons. One is that it's farming like this that will help with the food crisis that we're facing globally. But importantly for Zambia, it's projects like this which are bringing in a lot of innovation that will create the jobs that Zambia needs to recover uh, and make a huge difference in the country. We're very interested in learning from his experience and the proprietor has been very generous in spending time with us to show the ways in which you can improve the quality, the consistency and the overall sustainability of farming in Zambia. I think there's a lot of potential in this sector and this is one of the reasons why we picked this particular project. It's an example of the type of work that World Bank resources are able to provide. The agribusiness sector is excited about the business model of Panuka Farm and cannot wait for it to be replicated in the country and the region at large. I mean, this is a demonstration for us as to, you know, the length and uh, depth in which a project like this can go in. For example, if you were to look at the typical challenges that uh, 
SMEs like this are it's around access to finance, access to markets, but also trying to break those boundaries around innovation. So this is a pure demonstration of how a farm to fork model, something which is digitized, something which is green, you know, can go. So that's something we are there and uh, we get to see that here. And uh, we hope that uh, these models can be scaled up across the country. Panuka Farm has become a model of climate-proofed agriculture coupled with the use of technology to increase production output. Since the World Bank grant, Panuka Farm has largely transitioned from open field farming to greenhouse farming. One other issue is that um, um, in terms of powering our you know, farm, we actually power this farm 100% on, on solar. Um, and so we already had some solar you know, facilities, especially on the uh, water pumping side. Uh, but I think when the ZDTP um, you know, grant came through, besides the greenhouses, uh, they also invested um, uh, in um, additional solar you know, facilities. Um, but besides that, uh, we also you know, had um, you know, um, a cold storage coming through as part of the financing package. Um, so the grant was actually quite you know, a game changer uh, redesigning how we farm, uh, but obviously we've had to invest a bit more again uh, in terms of adding additional um, you know, greenhouses uh, to where we are uh, at present. Besides Mr Mwemba, the various units of Panuka Farm are led by a youthful team of managers and field supervisors. So I can walk with you into the greenhouses just to show you what we do. So in here we've got English cucumber with a variety called Vedon which we get from our potential client, uh, that is uh, Holland Green Tech, and we have been with them for quite some time now. So this cucumber is with us here for the next uh, 13 weeks. So the production of cucumber starts from zero week up to the fourth or, five or fifth week, that's when we start our harvesting. From there, we harvest for 13 weeks. So this is the English cucumber that we've got in here. For more insights on greenhouse production, Alice Nachande takes us through another greenhouse of sweet paper. Walk with me in, I show you how we do our paper. So in here, we have Ilanga variety, which is yellow paper. It's all yellow. As you can see, it has even started turning. I, I work with four ladies. Together, we are five of us. So um, well, when it's a month old, we start pruning, trellising, like putting these ropes, trellising, pruning, weeding, everything. So that's just how we manage our paper up to until it's done. Much as Panuka Farm has largely transitioned from open field to greenhouse farming, the farm still has an open field farming unit. Uh, we start from the soil by maintaining the, the, the good quality of the soil from, by applying manure from the pottery there then we leave, we leave it for some time to cure there and after it cures that's when we apply it in the field and the pottery manure has helped us mainly to to improve the soil and also reducing on the, the fertilizers that that we use in in our crops Apart from crop farming, Panuka Farm is also into poultry farming, currently focusing on egg production. In this section, there are a lot of activities that runs. There is flock health. Under flock health, we do vaccinations, deworming, inspection, also feed analysis. We do egg collection and grading, which is done every day. And egg collection usually happens twice in a day, morning and afternoon. Feed formulation, where we mix the meal number three and the concentrate. We, remove, we also remove chicken manure every after a day, where it's taken to the dumping site, leave it for one to two weeks and to allow it to decompose. Then the guys from the crop section comes and get it and use it as in. Manure. So at Panuka Farm, we can say we, we are partly into organic farming. Panuka Farm is the anecdote of how climate-proofed farming practices using modern technology can thrive in our Zambian agricultural space.